Welcome to my channel, I'm Kevin McHenry, and this is going to be a channel about me starting my own media company from the very beginning, from the ground up. I decided that I was sick and tired of working for other people, and I was tired of constantly working different jobs that I never really enjoyed. Every day I would go to work, I'd be miserable, and I was like, this is not where I want to be. So I decided to actually go and do something I'm actually passionate about and pursue doing what I want to do. This is going to be a journey from the very beginning of me starting this media company all the way to hopefully an end result that both you and I can be happy with. This is going to be a weekly vlog where I'm going to be interacting with you guys and showing you pretty much the ins and outs of what I'm doing with my company as far as Instagram, actually shooting with clients, what cards are coming up, what you're going to see in my feed for the next week or so. So I pretty much just wanted to introduce myself and give you a little bit of information about things that I've been dealing with. So recently in Instagram, I've been having issues with actually getting engagement and followers. My likes have been going down and my following has been going up, which I thought was rather odd. So I decided to, instead of just keep going through the motions day by day, posting the same things and getting poor results, I took it upon myself to actually look into and see why it was being like this. From watching another content creator on YouTube, she kind of broke down the things that had been changed in Instagram that I didn't actually know about. I'll link her video down in the description. I've been doing the same copy-paste with hashtags, and they'd be in the same order all the time. Well, apparently that was wrong, and I didn't know that. So what I did is I actually got my own page shadow banned. So for the next 60 days, I have to do a hashtag cleanse, which I don't use any hashtags for six days to kind of reset the algorithm on my page. I use Instagram as one of my social media outlets to really book shoots and get different clients and advertise. Well, when my stuff is shadow banned and only the people that are my followers are seeing it, it's not really too helpful. Also, I noticed that even though I have almost 1,400 followers, I was only getting anywhere between 20 to 50 likes on my posts. Now, it doesn't help the fact that my hashtags weren't generating any kind of flow. No one was coming from you know, hashtag drifting or hashtag automotive photography to come look at my work. So it's just my followers. Now, I also wasn't getting a lot of likes from necessarily just my followers, which I also found out that I have to keep up on my Instagram page constantly. Instagram looks at multiple things that actually will keep your page consistently active in other people's feeds. I didn't know anything about any of this. I have to post at least five times a week on my feed. I have to do at least post five reels a week, which seems like a lot, especially when I'm a photographer and I don't post a lot of videos. Now, not only do I have to do the five posts a week and the five reels a week, they also want you to go live once. And on top of live once, they want you to constantly be DMing people, constantly showing at least activity on your story every two hours. I mean, it's really a lot. And now I can understand how a lot of content creators and people make this their full-time job because you really need to be doing this non-stop all the time. Now, this is great for me because I took the opportunity of no longer working for anyone else and I'm working for myself. So this becomes part of my work. This is my workload for the week. I have to constantly keep up on my social media. Hopefully in the next two months when I'm trying to clean up my act on Instagram and get more of a following, get more engagement, and get all of you more engaged with my profile so I can not only get more bookings but more exposure at the same time. Now which I thought the vlog series would be very interesting in this aspect but there's a lot of things that you might not know that go on behind the scenes when doing things like this. Yes I have to take great pictures. Yes I have to constantly keep up with my clients. Yes I have to you know make sure that my quality is top tier at all times. But there's things like this that I didn't necessarily know I was signing up for that I, in fact, did sign up for. Hopefully with this vlog series week by week, you can kind of see how I progress on my own with this endeavor that I'm doing. Whether it's Instagram, social media, marketing myself, you know, becoming more outgoing as a person, and just progressing. I wanted to do at least one live video for this week on Instagram. So I decided to take that opportunity and make it a question and answer for this first vlog. So I had a couple of people ask some questions that I can kind of go into now uh, on a weekly basis through these vlogs. So the one person asked if I wanted to travel around the world. Absolutely. Uh, I really want to do that. I really want to go to different races. I want to 
You know, I want to do photography in Formula One. I want to do Formula Drift. I want to do you know, 24 hours in Le Mans. I mean, I love motorsports. I love cars. And if I can travel the world and continue my passion of not only automotive, you know, the automotive industry, cars, but also racing, I would love it. That is my end game result, is to be a media company that works all over the world to be able to do photography for the things I love. And someone asked if there was any investor opportunities. Now, down the line, I would absolutely love to have investor opportunities. Right now, the only investments that I need people to make are bookings. As of right now, my main focus is to get as much exposure as possible and create as much of an income on a weekly basis for me to cover my own overhead. So in the future, when I become a full-fledged media company but hopefully multiple employees working with me to cover events, then yes, there will absolutely be investor opportunities in the future. So that's all I had. Just wanted to introduce myself and introduce what this vlog series was going to be. You can check my Instagram out at McKendra Media and my website www.mckendramedia.com. Make sure you give me a follow on Instagram and just check out my recent work that I'll be having going on. I just finished editing Brandon Wallace's set for his last CRZ photo shoot. I'm very, very upset about that. I've seen that car from the very beginning uh, to the end, and to see it actually go away on a trailer and do a photo shoot of that. That car was the car uh, that got me in any shape or form of Super Street. You know, like, I, never, I haven't been published by Super Street yet in one of their magazines, but I have been shared on their page, and it was his car. So that car means a lot to me. I know he's going to come out with some awesome. He's such a unique dude. He's such a good guy, and uh, he, he's just, he's really passionate about it, and I know it's not going to be the last thing. Absolutely not. So you'll be seeing a lot of that shoot. I did an awesome uh, Mopar shoot. It was a full family. All of them in the family, mom, dad, and son, all had challenges of different years, which I thought was awesome. They grew up at Maple Grove Raceway. So we went there and shot on the track, and it was a really good experience. I really loved it. I mean, I never got to shoot on an empty track like that before. So I thought it was awesome, and I think the pictures came out great. So you'll be seeing a lot more of that. I've been sharing that on my Instagram, but you're going to be seeing the rest of that set be posted. I also have one coming up Sunday uh, with someone that I normally shoot with very regularly and someone else that has the same car as him. You know, I really hope to knock this shoot out of the park because I love these cars. I think they're so sleek and I just can't wait to make an absolute banger set. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel and I hope to have some awesome content for you guys next week. Take it easy guys.